The realm of geisha and maiko women has perpetually been an enigma and enchantment to many. These women, who have devoted their lives to perfecting the skill of customary Japanese entertainment, have been the center of attention in numerous literary works, films, and art forms. However, only a select few have been privileged to observe them in their 19th century glory when the geisha subculture was at its pinnacle. In this anthology of photographs, we have accumulated a series of magnificent images that offer a fleeting look into the lives of these remarkable women during that era. From their intricately patterned kimonos to their elaborate coiffures and makeup, these photographs demonstrate the superb beauty and skill of the geisha and maiko women of the 19th century. Geisha are a cohort of accomplished female Japanese performers and entertainers who are proficient in the art of traditional Japanese performing styles, including dance, music, singing, and the art of conversation, as well as being skilled hosts. Their unique appearance is characterized by elongated, trailing kimono, conventional hairstyles, and ashiroi makeup. Geisha entertain at ozashiki parties, frequently for the delight of affluent patrons, as well as performing on stage and at festivals. The modern-day geisha is not a courtesan. This confusion arose from the intermingling of Japanese courtesans, oiren, oiren reenactors, the extant taiyu, and harlots, who traditionally also wore kimono. The inception of female geisha commenced in 1751, with male performers entertaining guests within the pleasure quarters. The profession evolved to be predominantly female workers. The roots of the geisha tradition can be traced back to the 18th century during Japan's Edo period. During that time, female performers known as taiya provided music and dance performances for wealthy patrons. As the demand for their services increased, the taiya began to expand their repertoire to include conversational skills, poetry, and other arts, eventually transitioning into the geisha that we know today. Interestingly, the first geisha were actually men called taikamochi who regaled guests with their wit and humor. However, as the geisha culture gained more popularity, women gradually took over as the main performers. The apprenticeship process for geisha was incredibly strict and highly selective, with young girls as young as five or six being taken on as apprentices to established geisha. During the zenith of the 19th century, the exquisitely cultured geisha art form flourished, enchanting patrons in tea houses and various other settings throughout the diverse regions of Japan. By the 1830s, the geisha had become the unrivaled trailblazers and foremost trendsetters of fashion and style within Japanese society, inspiring emulation among women of the era. Numerous style trends, introduced by the geisha, rapidly became immensely popular, with some remaining enduringly fashionable to this very day. As a case in point, the practice of women wearing heiori, which first originated from the Tokyo Hanamachi of Fukagawa in the early 1800s. The advent of World War II brought about significant and lasting changes to the vocation of the geisha. Prior to the war, despite fierce competition from Jokyu cafe girls, who would serve as precursors to the bar hostess profession within Japan. The number of geisha had swelled to as high as 80,000. Following the forced closure of all geisha districts in 1944, the vast majority of geisha were conscripted into the war effort. With many finding alternate employment in factories or similar venues through their prior customers and patrons. Although many geisha did eventually return to the karaokai, the traditional world of the geisha, in relatively swift fashion after the war. A significant number chose to remain in their wartime occupations, deeming them more secure and stable forms of employment. During and after the war, the prestigious name of the geisha experienced a decline in status. As certain prostitutes began referring to themselves as geisha girls in order to cater to the American military personnel that were occupying Japan at the time. Maiko, being the apprentice geisha of Japan, are engaged in a rigorous program of training that would mold them into full-fledged geisha. Maiko essentially denotes dancing child, a name that reflects their predominant function as traditional performers and dancers of Japanese arts. 
Maiko's induction into the training program typically commences between their ages of 15 and 20, after which they undergo years of training to perfect an array of skills and techniques. These encompass a comprehensive curriculum that encompasses traditional Japanese arts, including but not limited to calligraphy, flower arrangement, music, dance, and conversational skills. Maiko undergo a rigorous and arduous training regimen, encompassing mastery of the intricate kimono and obi garments worn by geisha. As well as the finesse of applying makeup and styling their hair in the inimitable wear shinobu style characterized by a central bun and lengthy hairpins. Aside from their training, Maiko are also obliged to partake in various customary events and ceremonies, including the tea ceremony and flower viewing festivities where they exhibit their skills and perform for guests. Additionally, they accompany geisha in entertaining patrons at parties and functions. Maiko can be easily distinguished from fully-fledged geisha by their more ornate and colorful attire, coupled with their slightly more casual demeanor. Geisha are held to a higher standard of conduct, maintaining their professional and formal comportment at all times, while Maiko have more leeway to engage in playful and unrestrained behavior.